Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hi. How are you? Excellent. And Hello. you? Good. Excellent as well. Very good. So I'm glad to see you, Freddy, Rodrigo, Guillermo, Julia, and Manuel. Very good. Good evening. All right. Hello. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. All right, guys. So yesterday I did not have Julia in class, right? Julia, you were not in class yesterday. Sorry, you were not in class yesterday, right? Yes, I I couldn't. Right. Okay. Very good. Uh, Manuel, you were not in class either yesterday, were you? Yes, and I have a lot of problems with. All right. Problem. Yeah. Okay. No, no. Okay. That's All right. Okay, that's okay. Uh, I'm asking you because I wanted to see uh, the homework that I assigned for the people that were in class. So I received Freddy's, I received Saida's, and I received Maribel's um, responses. I did not receive yours, Guillermo, and I did not receive either Rodrigo. Ros Rodrigo, you were assigned a homework yesterday? I, I was in, in the class, but I, I, I had a lot of, a lot of work. All right, that's, that's okay. I mean, but that's okay. I, 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 I will send. Sure, I yes. That's, send uh, very good, yes. I was just about to say that. Maybe Rodrigo and Guillermo, you can send it tomorrow. That's okay. It's up to you. Freddy, before we start the class, that's it, Freddy. You got it right. All right, very good. I was very okay. proud of you. Yay! Oh, thank All right, you. <laughs> you were talking about the goals. Yeah, right? And, and yeah. everything else. Now you understood it. You see? Oh, you. Yeah, that, that was very, very nice. That <laughs> as well as I mean, um, Maribel also. All right. So yesterday for Manuel and Julia that were not in class, uh, we were talking about uh, the integrated question five. All right. And we were doing, again, we were doing some listenings because this one, they, we just do listenings. And based okay. on the listening, uh, your classmates, they had a 20 minutes to prepare, right, Freddy? And 60 seconds to uh, 20 minutes. 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky. I was <laughs> scary. <laughs> no, that's too much. All right. So the idea that we do it here on the spot and sometimes because this is the first time you're listening to the lecture or the conversation hello Nidia and Evelyn uh, you get nervous or whatever right so or sometimes it's like very difficult to understand it that way so sometimes we kind of panic all right but in the case of Freddy that he did it yesterday here live all right his response was totally different than his response that he sent me as homework, all right? It was the same, um, the same lecture that he listened to, the one that I assigned here in class was the same thing I assigned for him later, all right? And then I could tell the difference between his first response and his second response, all right? I mean, to begin with, nobody else was listening. To begin with, I mean, I was not watching him. He, know, he knew that nobody, I mean, he was not live at that moment. So all those factors, of course, all right? But the idea, guys, is to expose you a little bit about what real life would be like, all right? Or what the test would like actually be like, because remember that when you take this type of TOEFL, uh, the person that is evaluating you is right there in front of you. You cannot say, okay, go away, I'll talk to someone. And I mean, to my mind, am I uh, my imaginary friend or something, all right? But I mean, that's okay. Uh, let me see, so very good. Uh, Saida, hi Saida. Hi teacher. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm okay, very good. Saida, you sent me the homework, right? Yes. Yes, very good, okay. So um, Saida, we still need to work a little bit on it. All right, but it's, it's much better than the one that we did yesterday during class, okay? So we improved, which is good, all right? But still, we need to, like, it seems to me, we're going to work together uh, with these questions tomorrow, now, okay? So, Saida, tomorrow we'll have enough time to check it with you, 
All right, and then you're gonna, uh, I know after that you're gonna give me a way much better response because I know you're able to do it, all right? But you're doing better, all right? Very good. Um, okay. Evelyn, okay. you were not in class yesterday either, were you, Evelyn? No, because I had a problem with my internet oh, and I reported it and today they repair my internet. Oh, all right, okay. Well, it's good that they did yeah. already. All right, nice. Okay, so guys, today we're talking about uh, integrated question four all right remember that i said three five and four six that's kind of like the way they arranged it all right but this is what we're going to do today all right so you guys don't feel like oh no i'm on the spot again all right so it's gonna be a little bit like more relaxed if you want to call it and this is what we're going to do before class i sent the presentation at, uh, on the group did you get it check guys please all right very good if you were able to see it I know I just sent it like not that long ago, but in case you were able to open it already, you're going to say, but these are the same listenings that we did on Monday. Yes, they are. All right. Did the teacher make a mistake? No, I didn't. All right. It's, it's like um, planned that way. All right. So we're going to look at these type of questions, which are very much alike on questions three, the integrated question three. They have the same components. They, we do some reading, we do some listening, and we, do, we have the same uh, preparation time and the same amount of time to speak or to give your response. So if you remember the preparation, you have 45 seconds to read it. Remember that is the same thing as the, as the uh, third question. Then we do the listening, all right? Then you have 30 seconds to respond, and then you have, I mean, 30 seconds to prepare and 30 seconds to respond wondering so what's the difference the difference in these um, question four is that usually they are lectures on the other one sometimes you're gonna have uh, like a, as like preferences or choices about what you would rather all right or what you would prefer but maybe it's a conversation or something else but in, in integrated question four they are, they are pretty much all of them are lectures. That's the difference, all right? The other ones, they kind of like ask you like your opinion kind of thing. Not all of them as you saw on Monday, but some of them do, but the rest is the same, okay? So I'm not gonna, we're not gonna go over, we're not gonna listen to the uh, conversations here. I mean, we're not gonna do the reading together because we already did. We're not gonna do the preparation time together because we already did. And you guys are not going to give me your response here because you already did. So what are you going to do? Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to share the presentation with you right now, all right? And as I show it to you, you will see this is slight difference, all right? So integrated question four. If you notice, all right, it's made up of the same things. Reading passage, listening, prep time, and response time, all right? And the reading passage, 45 seconds. The listening is up, like how long it takes. The preparation time is 30 seconds and response time is th uh, 60 seconds, all right? So we have that. This is the same conversation that we listened to on Monday, all right? So this is what we're going to do. Right after this conversation, and it happens through the whole presentation here, you have this slide which is a little bit different from the previous one on Monday because we didn't have this, all right? Because they are very similar, question three and question four. Now I want to go a little bit more, you to go a little bit deeper or more detailed on the listening, all right? So this is what I want you to ask yourselves, okay? Or what I want you to work with. Right after this uh, reading and the, com the conversation, which we have the audios, I want you to see this. What you need, it says you need to, number one, estate the topic. What are they talking about? All right. Number two, estate in this case, because it's based on that particular reading and listening, I want you to state the woman's opinion. And number three, I want you to state her reasons for her opinion, all right? So how are we gonna work this? Today, we're gonna go to your breakout rooms, today and tomorrow. So for example, if I'm working with Freddy, Freddy, we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna read together, I mean, 45 seconds. For example, I have my 
so I'm timing, okay? So we're reading silently, but we're together. All right, we have read for 45 seconds. We say, okay, time is up. Then we, we click the audio, so we listen. We stop the audio, all right? Then we have 20, I mean, 30 seconds to prepare. And then we're not gonna talk now. Your preparation time is this. Going over this, together with Freddy, we're going to discuss, okay, so what was this? Uh, let's just say the topic, what were they talking about? And then together with Freddy, we come up with one answer, all right? And then another preparation, it would be a state the woman's opinion. Okay, so what was her opinion? And make, I want you to have paper and pen today or pencil. So you write things down, or if you have the computer and you're faster typing, all right? And then together with Freddy, we're stating her reasons for her opinion. That means, because this is a little bit different than what we did on Monday, all right, and yesterday, we're not over the 30 uh, seconds to respond better. We're going to take as much time as we need to for us to understand or to comply with these three, um, not questions, but with these three issues here that we have, okay? Once we think, okay, we have it. We have, we stated the topic, we stated the, women's, the woman's opinion, and we stated her reasons, all right? If you don't get it the first time, go ahead and listen again. Go ahead and read it again. But when we do the reading, yeah, take to, try to take just 45 seconds, all right? But the listening, you can play again and again and again until you are sure you got the whole information from that passage and from that listening. Then when you finish that and you're sure that you got it, move on to number two, all right? Which we already read, which we already listened, but we're gonna read it again, we're gonna listen again, and then we're going to come up with these ones. Again, you're going to state the topic, you're going to state the woman's opinion, you're going to state her reasons for her opinion, and I want you to explain her reasons, all right? So you go deeper into that. Again, if you need to listen again, listen again, all right? Then you go to number three, this guy about the one that uh, Freddie was talking about, all right? When you listen, when you read and you finish listening, then you come up with this one. You have to state the topic you have to come up with what does the professor describe? Oops, my low my medias. Uh, what does the professor describe? Explain how the experiment relates to user's behavior. Give facts given in the lecture. So we work on this with Freddy, all right? Now, if we have enough time, all right, which I hope we will, we go to the fourth one or whatever number this is, we, we read together, we listen together, but get, there's nothing here, all right? Because I want you to come up with what do I need to look for, all right? What should I be getting on this uh, passage and this listening? You already have three examples before. So maybe you will come up again with, okay, say the topic, but what about question two? What about question three? What are we looking for? What are the key elements based on the question that is here, all right? And then the same thing for the last one with this guy. You're going to read it, listen to it, but there's nothing. No crea que se me olvidó. Lo hice a propósito. You come up with the thing here. All right. Again, you have previous examples. So you can come up and check it. And you can come up with maybe similar ideas. But again, based on what the question at the bottom is asking you to do. All right. That's going to help you guys to improve your listening, to improve your reading, and to improve your responses because you have that information. Now, that won't be happening on the test, all right? But again, here we're together to practice and to get some skills, all right? Do you understand what I just said, yes. guys? Yes? I'm sorry my explanation took a while, but I wanted you to like understand. I know Freddy understood. Rodrigo, did you understand? Julia, Nidia, Manuel, Saida, Eve? Yes. Robert, yes. Uh, everybody got it, yeah? Yes. Excellent. I got it. Very good. Before yeah, we no. go, Maribel, can you listen to me? Can you listen, Maribel? Are you there? Maribel, Maribel? Thank you. Maribel? All right, Maribel. Thank you for the homework, Maribel. It was very, way much better today's response than yesterday. So very good, Maribel. Thank you so much for that, okay? Okay. All right, okay, you don't sound so happy, Maribel. All right, so 
<laughs> you have the presentation with you, okay? So work with the presentation. I will, I, I will be monitoring all the, the groups and we have the rest of the class to work on this. You have five or six okay. conversations and you have three, let's say three questions per um, reading and conversation and listening. So it might take you the whole class, but I'll be there checking on you and if you have questions all right what i want you to do is read it listen and then respond and then go to those get to those points all right and take notes and just kind of discuss with nidia if you're discussing if you're with her or discuss with astrid if you're working with her all right two brains work better than one sometimes all right so the idea is to get ideas nidia has better ideas or i have get better ideas or Nidia has this a uh, way to do things and it's gonna help me, that's good, all right? So that's the idea behind it. So we're gonna go to our now, all right? So open up the presentation. You the, On the presentation, the listenings are there, so you don't need to do anything else, all right? And then get together with your groups right now. Okay. Right now, I have a question. Yes, uh, About the presentation, there, there is the three question that you have previously mentioned. Yes, Are most of them do. The, th the first three they have, Robert. The, the last two, I didn't write them because I want you to three. think about them. The University okay. of Bahia. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys, you may start clicking and joining your groups. Hi, Guillermo. Hi, Guillermo. Uh, hi, teacher. Uh, hi. I am sorry. That's okay. Hi. I'm gonna but, send you yes, to. Okay. okay, I'm gonna send you to one group. Okay. Okay. Yes, uh, I am sorry. Uh, the battery of my cell phone is. Uh, Dying? It's over, right? Ah, okay. All right, don't worry about it, Guillermo. It's okay, I understand. I'm going to send you right now to one of the groups, okay? Okay, teacher. Yes. Just give me a second here, Guillermo. Okay, there you go, Guillermo. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Did you get the invitation, Guillermo? Toward more acquisition for the library. Now listen to the student as they discuss the quote. Okay, well, I think that previously to hear the audio, uh, we have to uh, keep in mind these three uh, indications. Number one, state the topic. I think that it's better because. Uh, we have specifically, specifically uh, what we have to uh, put more attention. That's what, that is one way of doing things, Freddy, very good. 
I mean, you okay. can do it as you please right now, right? So that's good. I mean, if that's, that technique works for you, like listening first, base, I mean, reading these three, um, let's say, questions, they, it, they help you to like listen better for details. That's good. That's, that's okay. nice. Okay. More acquisition for the library. Okay. Mm. The woman expressed that opinion, but then that question to me to really think how long time? Which uh, which but, question are you guys working on right now? Number one. Number one. Yes, but right. but uh -huh. I have a I have a question. Yes, Manuel. And previous the for example for the image the university uh -huh. uh, for the plan for the main and change the plan previous there are uh, four question forty five how long is it take mm -hmm. thirty and sixteen but what is the 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 option is for mega opinion or. Manuel, uh, you're, you're looking at this right now? Yes. Okay, the 45 seconds, that's how long it should take you to read it together with your yeah. classmate. Then yeah. how long it takes? I mean, I don't know how long each listening takes, but usually they take about a minute. Then okay. in a normal, and this is what we did uh, last Monday, in a normal, um, let's say, activity, you would have only 30 seconds to prepare and 60 seconds to give your response. But right now we're not giving responses and we're taking longer to prepare because we have these three things that we need to get with, all right? After you okay. do the, the reading with your classmate, after you do the listening together with her, all right, you may take a look at this. Together you guys are going to state the topic, together you're going woman's opinion and together you're going to state her reasons for her for her opinion now you may listen to it first and then look at this or you may look at these three things and then listen to the uh, conversation in this case it's up to you how you work it you don't really have a time limit right now the only limit i'm giving you is for you to read on 45 seconds yeah, totally. mm -hmm. yes okay excellent thank you. very good thank you did you get it Saida? yeah right yeah Yes, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Yes, I do, but I don't. I don't take the time. <laughs> yeah. Read again. Read again and put the put the the. This requirement almost seems like a continuation of high school requirements. We we believe that students should take responsibility for their own physical condition. Morning. So, what are the programs? What programs are you concerned about? Well, the women's varsity soccer team, for one. They've worked hard to get any university support at all and are just getting the recognition that Sorry. they deserve. I hardly think that they'll be affected. Don't be so sure. Fewer classes will result in a cut in the number of instructors. And that can't help but affect the different programs that are run by those particular instructors. The woman expresses her opinion of what the president was quoted to have said to the reporter. State her opinion and explain the reasons she gives for holding that opinion. Okay. The woman uh, don't agree with, the, with this change in the university. The woman doesn't agree. Okay. But why she doesn't agree? Remember that you may listen to it as many times as you need to, all right? The idea is for you to get comfortable with the questions and the listening. Okay. All right, very good.
have we read it or, or we just listen? Yeah, but in the second one, we have to, uh, well, it's the same, it's the same indications. Yes, state the topic, state the woman's opinion, state the reason for it, and explain. Okay. okay. The maintenance department has announced that the main classroom building will be undergoing some changes. Read the announcement about the renovation. You have 45 seconds to read the announcement. Begin reading now. During the summer season, classes will be held in the geology complex. Will the main classroom building is being renovated? When, re when the renovation is completed, each room will be equipped, equipped, uh, equipped with a state of the art equipment. Equipped. Equipment. Okay. Equip equipped. 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 Will be equipped with the state of the art equipment, such as computers that will allow teachers to project their lecture notes and supported data onto a screen. Some of the classroom will be turned into multimedia labs, although the building has already been made accessible for the visible for their improvements will be made to provide even better access to all classroom. Motion sensor will be installed that turn light on and off to conserve energy. Okay. Let's go with the listening. Four, the maintenance department has announced that the main classroom building will be undergoing some changes. Read the announcement about the renovation. You have 45 seconds to read the announcement. Begin reading now. Now listen to two students as they discuss the announcement. That'll be really great, won't it? All the classrooms will be high tech. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe? I really like a professor to give a lecture with all sorts of neat computer slides to project on the screen, don't you? Well, yeah, when it works. But how often have you been excited about doing something special in a lab and the technology failed? Not that often. Uh, it does have to be maintained, though. And upgraded. Technology becomes obsolete very quickly. True. I've also seen a lot of student presentations using technology that were all showy with animation, but no content. It's a big expense, you know, for something that won't be used all that much. Why don't you think it'll be used? Well, first, lots of professors aren't high-tech minded and won't bother with learning how to use it. Besides, it's very time consuming to make a good computer presentation. The best professor I've had here, Dr. Rosa, doesn't even use an overhead projector. Yeah, well, she's kind of exceptional. The woman expresses her opinion of the announcement made by the university's maintenance department. State her opinion and explain the reasons she gives for holding. Okay. And you try to give a job or project in freelance, a physical education in your major is not important. More than the university. Yeah. What is your major? What is you major? You finished the university? Yeah, yes. Yeah. I what am a lawyer. I law. Low. Low. Ah, you are a lawyer. No. Yeah. Lawyer. Yeah. In my job is the is the is the most important position because there are a lot of lawyers. Yeah. Is the is the buffet. Ah. Oh. Yes, yeah. in my case I alcohol I, is. <laughs> and it's difficult work with lawyer because and all 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 the case is in in base to the la the law and you can you can make anything is not for 
article or for the law. It's complicated, but it's, it's interesting. Yes, yes, it's very interesting. Yes. And the second question, what is the woman's opinion? Uh -huh. Her yes, reason for her opinion. We disagree. Mm -hmm. What is the main reason? Maybe they support it all and are just getting the recognition they deserve. I hardly think that they'll be affected. Don't be so sure. Fewer classes will result in a cut in the number of instructors, and that can't help but affect the different programs that are run by those particular instructors. The woman expresses her opinion of what the president was quoted to have said to the reporter. State her opinion and explain the Maribel. reason that she gives yeah. for holding that opinion. Uh -huh. Sandy, so, yeah. Okay. Um, can you give give your your opinion because I can listen a little, but I I I only listen. I I think it's not. Um, she's not okay with with this decision. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, can you tell? Can you, can you Guillermo? Tell us? Guillermo. And you, Carabao, what do uh, you think? Yes, I think the same thing. Uh, that she is not okay. I think uh, I think she is concerned about the reduce of the budget of women's uh, soccer soccer team. Did you hear that? Women's facilities for soccer team. Teacher. She, she. Teacher. Teacher. Where are you? <laughs> I'm here, Maribel. I'm sorry. No encontraba el botón. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh -huh, Maribel. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, oh, you know, you know that I have some trouble like, with the listening part. Uh -huh. uh, but, I, but I think that is, but she is concerned uh -huh. about the about the budget uh, or the reduce the number of of, of the uh, uh, the entrenadores. How do you say coaches or trainers? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. for for soccer teams. Are you on number one right now? Yeah. All right. Did you were you guys able to listen to everything, Rodrigo and Guillermo? I have some problems uh, with the audio yeah. because uh, oh. no, nothing. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's see. So uh, you guys are answering these questions already. So what's the topic? I I think. I think uh, I, Okay. I. Uh huh. Ladies first. <laughs> uh huh. Oh. Ladies first. Yeah. We will agree Forward. with you. Uh huh. We assign the budget. The budget of physical education. Mm -hmm. think they is, they is, don't mention the budget, but but we know. think that. They have to, they want to save the money for you, for that will be used for science and computer lab. Okay, so that's why they are reducing the uh, physical education courses. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, all right. So what about the other one? It state the woman's opinion. She agrees or disagrees? No, she, she is she doesn't uh, agree? No, she's no. No. She's not agree. She doesn't agree. All right. Doesn't. She, doesn't. she doesn't. She doesn't uh, agree. Doesn't. Yeah. All right. She doesn't she agree. Doesn't. Okay. So now give me reasons why she doesn't agree. Can you give me reasons reasoning why she doesn't agree with this, with everything? Maribel, do, do, you have you have the, the complete audio. You know what? I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share the audio right now. So Rodrigo and Guillermo, you can listen. It's only one minute. Let's listen together. Please, please. 
Uh-huh. Three, the University of the Rockies is planning to make a change in the number of required courses in physical education. Read the president's quote taken from his interview with the reporter from the student newspaper. Begin reading now. We already did. Uh -huh. We're just gonna wait. Now listen to two students as they discuss the quote. What do you think about the university dropping its physical education requirement? I'm torn about it, really. In one way, it's true that students should take the responsibility of keeping fit. But how can we if money isn't put into the facilities? But the president didn't say anything about not putting money into the facilities. He said that the money that's saved from courses that'll no longer be taught would be put elsewhere. True, but I can't help but think some of our sports programs are going to be affected. This will only be the loss of some courses. So what are the programs? What programs are you concerned about? Well, the women's varsity soccer team, for one. They've worked hard to get any university support at all and are just getting the recognition they deserve. I hardly think that they'll be affected. Don't be so sure. Fewer classes will result in a cut in the number of instructors, and that can't help but affect the different programs that are run by those particular instructors. The woman expresses her opinion of what the president was quoted to have said to the reporter. State her opinion and explain the reasons she gives for holding that opinion. All right. Reasons. If she doesn't agree with what's going on right now at university, give, tell me why. What are her reasons? She uh -huh. wants to play. She wants to play <laughs> soccer. And that does, is not said. I mean, that's not being said on the uh, listening. Uh huh. So give me like reasons um, that you listen to. Uh huh. No. Can you repeat the audio, please? Of course. One more yeah. Time. Yeah. Of course. Three. The University of the Rockies is planning to make a change in the number of required courses in physical education. Read the president's quote taken from his interview with the reporter from the student newspaper. Begin reading now. Now listen to two students as they discuss the quote. What do you think about the university dropping its physical education requirement? I'm torn about it, really. In one way, it's true that students should take the responsibility of keeping fit. But how can we if money isn't put into the facilities? But the president didn't say anything about not putting money into the facilities. He said that the money that's saved from courses that'll no longer be taught would be put elsewhere. True, but I can't help but think some of our sports programs are going to be affected. This will only be the loss of some courses. So, what are the programs? What programs are you concerned about? Well, the women's varsity soccer team, for one. They've worked hard to get any university support at all and are just getting the recognition they deserve. I hardly think that they'll be affected. Don't be so sure. Fewer classes will result in a cut in the number of instructors, and that can't help but affect the different programs that are run by those particular instructors. The woman expresses her opinion of what the president was quoted to have said to the reporter. State her opinion and explain the reasons she gives for holding that opinion. Uh huh. So, what are her reasons? Uh -huh. uh, she's not. She's not um, agree. She doesn't agree. Because she, she doesn't agree because she's sitting. She think um, think the the resources mm -hmm. the resources the resources um, of um, this class mm -hmm. uh, the resources in this class uh, is. It doesn't. It doesn't uh, uh, affect the presupuesto. No sé cómo se llama. They will affect or they won't affect. They won't. They will not affect. But mm. I think. I think. 
Let's listen at the very beginning. Yes, uh, yes, Maribel. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Would you like to explain? I, I understand that that uh, they, the president or uh, the university have have to review uh, the number of the number of of physical education and they reduce the courses. Mm -hmm. So she is concerned. She is concerned about about the, the soccer team because they are reduced the instru the instructor the budget okay ah, okay all right ah, instructor and and she oh. see that they receive reco recognition recognition mm -hmm. okay. recognition so, so if they if the university receive recognition so they don't have to reduce that budget Okay. The soccer, the soccer, uh -huh. All right. The soccer. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. You, you, uh, Maribel, you're closer to getting it. I just want you. I just want to play the first, the very first beginning, like the very beginning of the listening, and I want you to pay attention. Three. Listen. Okay. The University of the Rockies is planning to make a change in the number of required courses in physical education. Read the president's quote taken from his interview with the reporter from the student newspaper. Begin reading now. Now listen to two students as they discuss the quote. What do you think about the university dropping its physical education requirement? I'm torn about it, really. In one way, it's true that students should take the responsibility of keeping fit, but how can we if money isn't put into the facilities? Okay, so one thing is money is not put into the facility. That's what she doesn't agree with the whole thing going on here. Okay, so money. But the president didn't say anything about money? not putting money into the facilities. He said that the money that's saved from courses that'll no longer be taught would be put elsewhere. True, but I can't help but think some of our sports programs are going to be affected. So second one, she feels that some of the sports programs are going to be affected because they're not going to be like within the budget, okay? This will only be the loss yes. of some courses. So okay. what are the programs? What programs are you concerned about? Well, the women's varsity soccer team for one. They've worked hard to get any university support at all and are just getting the recognition they deserve. So she feels that the, uh, the girls soccer team, I mean, they are barely getting recognition and now they're cutting down on their budget or the courses. So they're not gonna be supported anymore. All right, that's another reason. I hardly think she that means, they'll be affected. She, she, she thinks... Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, go on, Rodrigo. She thinks uh, they, they need and deserve uh -huh. well, they deserve uh, they deserve recognize recognize recognition uh, recognition mm -hmm. but if they cut down on those courses and if they take that money away they are not gonna get the like enough recognition or the one that they deserve right yes okay don't be so sure fewer classes will result in a cut in the number of instructors and then they're gonna cut down on instructors. That means that not many people are gonna be working or helping out on the other um, careers or subjects or, or courses, right? So she gives like about four or five reasons why she's torn about it. She's like, yeah, I agree, but I agree at the same time. So she's not very sure, but it seems because of what she's saying that she is like, mostly not agreeing because of the four reasons or five reasons she gives through the whole conversation. And that's what you guys need to do, all right? I mean, that's why I wanted to take this time for you or for us to listen and again and again and again until we try, like, we try our best to get to the point. Because that question, the one that is right at the bottom where it says, state her opinion, and explain is not just saying no she doesn't agree uh -huh, but why she doesn't agree or if she agrees why she agrees and that's what we need to get to all right that's why i wanted to do this practice because we can like get deeper into the conversation 
and play it and listen to it as many times as we need to, all right? Yeah? Teacher, teacher, teacher. Yes, my friend. I have yeah. some problem uh -huh. because I understand uh, some words because yes. I, gave, I gave you one one reason. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I you gave me you, one reason. Yeah. Yeah, but when you repeat the, the I, I don't understand a sentence when they, the, when she are speaking about, she was speaking about the money, la, 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 la. oh my uh -huh. God, and I lost, yeah. and I lost, oh my God, I, I Right, no, I know, so, Maribel, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, don't get desperate. I mean, you're doing fine. If you feel like maybe, of course, to express ourselves in another language, it's a little bit difficult sometimes, okay? So don't get frustrated on, or like, don't feel bad, but you're trying, I mean, you, what I want you to do is to get the point, although you're not really expressing it the way you should say, all right? But the idea is for you to get the maybe, point. Yes. Maybe they use idioms or, or yeah, of different, course. Different, different words that I don't uh -huh. understand because I think in my case, it's better to read to understand. Right. And, but and you know I what? Listening. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, Maribel, and I understand your point because for most of the people, reading is better than listening because you're not reading. I mean, you're not reading. When it's listening, it's a little bit tougher, all right? And yes, uh, Maribel, they do use a lot of phrasal verbs, a lot of expressions, a lot of idioms, all right? So that's why we need to like work a lot on our English skills, like listening, reading, because TOEFL, that's what they like want to prove that you understand everything or mostly, you know, like most of everything that you're listening to. If you listen to this one, Maribel, the first thing she says is, I feel torn about it. That's an expression. I she feel what? Torn. Te lo voy a poner torn. Oigala. Requirement. I'm torn about it, really. I'm torn about it. That's what she says. To I, be tor torn, I am torn about it. Cuando usted okay. ocupa ese, esa expresión es que está indecisa. I, I, torn. Torn, I am torn about it. Okay, it's like, I mm. am torn about it. Okay. Entonces, okay, okay. Eh, uno esperaría escuchar I agree or I disagree. Porque eso es lo uh -huh. que uno, nosotros manejamos, ¿cierto? Pero ella le sale como I'm torn about it. Y si usted no maneja sus phrasal verbs, se perdió desde ahí. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my teacher. advice, my advice. There is no advice. <laughs> yeah, There's my advice advice. for you guys is that we need to keep on practicing and practicing every day. La idea es que ustedes eh, tomen el inglés así como que, como que fuera comida, ¿verdad? Every day, a little bit every day. <laughs> You listen, you read, you watch movies, you, you listen to the English, you read in English the subtitles, all right? But you need to expose yourself to English all the time, all right? So you, if you want to succeed and if you want to improve, that's the way. Ahora, ojo, no quiere decir que vamos a saber todo el vocabulario del mundo, con que no lo sabemos en español. Yes, uh, Entonces, uh, I agree, true. I agree. Right, okay. So in a, in a second language, <laughs> in a second language, obviamente se hace más difícil, porque acuérdese que nosotros venimos hablando español desde bebecito, ¿verdad? Pero el inglés lo adquirimos mucho más tarde en, en, in our lives. Pero eso no quiere decir que no se puede. Lo que decir es que necesitamos practicarlo mucho más. ¿Verdad? Y yo no le voy a mentir. Yo escucho, por ejemplo, un audio y yo no le puedo decir que yo entendí 100%. Sería mentirle. ¿All right? Entonces, pero, no el 100%, pero el 95, 98. ¿Verdad? La idea es llegar a esos porcentajes. ¿Y cómo lo voy a adquirir? ¿Cómo lo voy a lograr? Practicing, practicing, practicing. ¿Verdad? Los phrasal verbs. Y Maribel toca un punto muy importante. De repente ellos hablan con muchas expressions o idiomatic expressions. Y si no las sabemos, nos perdimos desde el principio. Entonces, desenredarnos por ahí es más difícil, ¿cierto? 
Uh -huh. right? Entonces, la idea, mire, la idea, eh, lo que yo quiero es dejarles todas las presentaciones esperando que ustedes sigan, ¿verdad? En, en, yo sé que trabajamos y tenemos mil y una obligación. Si ustedes se han metido en esto, pues, pues hay que echarle ganas. Entonces, de repente, si tengo un 10 minutos por ahí, lo vuelvo a escuchar y lo vuelvo a escuchar y lo vuelvo a escuchar, ¿verdad? Entonces, la idea es escucharlo. Para, no, bueno. para que usted llegue a un momento y diga, hoy sí entendí no, todo no, lo que está hablando. All right, Maribel. Thank you. Thank you. Very welcome. Thank you, All right. Thank you for, for your time. No, you're welcome. It's no, my pleasure. For the, for the PPT too, because no, ne, neither, no one help, uh, give us the presentation. I know. <laughs> yeah. I know uh, you. <laughs> I know, Maribel, I know. <laughs> Thank you, Maribel. Very good. Okay. Vamos a regresar por el tiempo porque okay. tengo la otra clase. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. Lecture in a cultural studies class. We were talking about monochronic and polychronic cultures mm -hmm. last week. Guys, I'm sorry. I know that you are like still listening for um your exercises but it's nine o'clock and i need to go all right again the ppt you already have it okay what i want you to do and i was as i was working right now with uh maribel and with guillermo and uh rodrigo was it you i hear you yeah okay so i was working with them all right estamos escuchamos una conversación como tres veces Lo importante es llegar y lograr decir, ah, ok, now I know her reasons, for example. Estamos en la, en la uno, ¿verdad? Pero lograr llegar a descifrar, por ponerlo así, cuáles son las razones que esta persona dio, that's the whole purpose of this activity, all right? That's the whole point. Si no, no, no avanzó uno, dos o tres, no importa. No se sienta mal. La idea es practice, practice, practice. All right, yo le decía ahorita a Maribel, Eh, y al grupo de ella es la constancia, ¿verdad? No podemos llegar a decir, voy a manejar el idioma al 100%, eso ni el español. De repente hay palabras en español que usted dice, ¿y eso qué es? ¿Verdad? Entonces, obviamente en un segundo idioma, con mucha más razón. Pero si usted practica y tiene constancia, por eso es mi idea de dejarle las presentaciones de PowerPoint, para que usted en algún momento pueda tener un poquito de tiempo y decir, voy a volverla a oír, y la voy a volver a oír, pero es que no entiendo lo que dice, ¿verdad? Entonces, hasta que usted lo descifre, ahorita que es su tiempo de práctica, ¿verdad? Al menos usted tiene que sentirse un poquito así como, hey, qué nice, que puedo tener un poquito de práctica, y no la mandaron de un solo alto porque a saber cómo se come ese volado. Mucha gente que así le pasa, ¿verdad? Que lo que los mandan y tienen que llegar a tomarlo ya mañana, y Dios mío, ¿verdad? Pero aquí es como, bueno, prepararnos y tal cual. Les dejo siempre las presentaciones para que ustedes puedan como volverlas a ver, volverlas a estudiar, volverlas a escuchar y tómese ese tiempo. Máxime, si eso es su objetivo ahorita, es como quiero tomar el tópolo y quiero pasarlo. Con eso mucha más razón aún. All right? Y si no, pues usted dice, ah, oh, este está interesante. A ver, igual, todo le ayuda. ¿Verdad? Aquí no estamos haciendo que, que usted pierda conocimiento. Aquí al contrario, algo está aprendiendo. All right. Y la constancia es importantísimo. Los veo mañana. Mañana tenemos una práctica igual con las otras eh, tipos de preguntas, pero es similar a lo que hicimos ahora. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.